Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folia. We're going to jump in. I did say I would play Golem this episode and so I will. Oh, we have a new character here. I don't know who that is. Um, that's part of another mod, I'm going to guess. Here's Golem. Here's our boy. We are on a minus eight streak. That's because we were playing the Secrets Challenge in the last episode. Very fun, but goddamn is it one of the most chaotic things I've ever seen in my life. Um, right, so we can bomb this guy. I don't know why. Does this guy always start with two bombs? Fires tears to nearby uh, nearby enemies. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Um, we can free reroll. We can free reroll this one. So let's do that and see what we get. Um, grants one star heart. Ooh, that's so good to get this early. That's so good to get this early. And then that one I'm just going to crunch down. Grab a soul heart. Okay. We are setting off in a really good start here. But the question of the day, what is the last thing you did just for you? What is the last thing you did, like, for yourself? As in, like, to either help your mental state, to cheer yourself up. What was the last thing kind you did for yourself? I don't know, for me. Mine, like, I, it was kind of for me. It was kind of for my mum. So, basically, my mum's over at the minute. And I, um, we went over to a place near me that's just opened up. And I got, like some very nice food and cocktails and it was it was just delightful it was really nice um and <laughs> as much as i was going to take them there i also was very happy to be just going there myself so yeah i was very happy with that i like our little buddy we got on our head i love the fact that some of the rocks like this have like visuals like that also oh that was that was tricky he uh he jumped in a direction i was not expecting there also he seems to do decent damage and has pretty good aim i like that this guy, he's he's winning my approval right now. Okay, I never remember what these corn dudes do. Okay, they, they do some sky throwing. Honestly, the, these dudes aren't all that bad. Um, I don't think they have a super high chance of hitting you. The um, sort of shadow that you get above you is pretty apparent. So it's actually not too bad at all. Um, ooh, we got the Fiend Folio. Hell yes. Um, I don't remember how to do this room. Okay. That one got... Oh, wait. The poop is back. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh, that was a bit scary. Uh, yeah, we got the Fiend Folio. I actually really like this item. I got it in my first episode of the series. Ooh, that guy does not work the way I thought he did. Whoa, he's hitting me hard. Um, We'll get a Soul Heart after the boss anyways, because we're going to uh, get one from our, uh, from our stone, but also we can trade in another stone that we get from the boss. So we're not too um, too bad off here. Don't worry about it too much. Um, but yeah, we got this on our first episode. I haven't seen it since. It's really good. It spawns in one of the Fiend Folio bosses to help you out. Um, most of them are pretty darn good. Uh, I think this guy is the weakest one um, of the lot of them. And even still, you saw how much damage he does. I think the bat's the best one. And there's like Techno Pin in there as well. It's really cool. Really cool. But also, this guy stays around as a familiar. So we got ourselves all stats up. I wonder how much that's going to end up being. That's not bad. I might I might sell down this little fella. I love my little head dude. I love my little head bobbler. But honestly, I might smush him down for a soul heart and keep keep the all stats up because that's just a really good like bead on success early on uh, i don't i didn't actually have to see what consolation prize gave us that oh, gave us speed okay pretty happy with that uh, we might as well go check out the other rooms why not but yeah as you can see this guy sticks around we also got a glass d6 for that room too this will charm so actually wasn't very useful there he's gonna pick up that head and throw it at me if i'm not careful do you know i don't know how the um fiend folio team went about doing this but they have these rooms that are like multi multi-wave rooms and that's not something we've really seen much of before. Um, Isaac doesn't really have that. There's a few of the mods that have done it with certain enemies. Um, and there's the downpour rooms that kind of have that. But I've not really seen it done in that way. So that's a nice little addition to Fiend Folio, I think. I think it's a, a, a nice little thing. Also, also, um, just have to say that um, I, uh, I know that a few of the developers watch my videos because I, I only found out recently. I know one of them specific, uh, specifically that does because they've commented a few times, but apparently Pease also is watching. So, hey, Pease. 
and hate others. It's really, it's really, really cool when developers watch my content. I like one of one of my favorite things in YouTube has always been um, the connections that I get to build and the, uh, sort of stuff like that with mod developers, um, and that that's in many different games. So there's been like I've been sort of part of some indie game development, like. Um, the guy that made Brotato, the Space Gladiators guy, um, kind of got in on the ground floor with that. And then Enter the Gungeon Modding, I'm a big, big part of that community as one of the main content creators for Enter the Gungeon Modding right now. And then Binding of Isaac, I've gotten in with quite a lot of the modders. And it's just, I really like it. It's, it's something that I wouldn't otherwise get to do and I really like being able to get to do. Okay. Bat, not so good on regular old enemies here. Uh, but, he got a few hits in there. I think he can also spawn as a champion too. Whoa, I've not seen this dude before. He's... Whoa, <laughs> what's he doing? Look at that little creepy face there. What are, you, are you pissing in a bucket? Are you... He just peed in that bucket. You little goober. He just pissed. He's... Okay, all of this is creep. Could you... Could you... Could you not, sir? This dude is wrecking me right now. <laughs> That's an amazing enemy. <laughs> I've not seen him before. I wonder how rare he is. That is fantastic. I love that. That's so good. But yeah, I was kind of speaking to Peas in the Fiendfolio Discord today, just about generally about my enjoyment of Fiendfolio recently. Um, and yeah, I still, I've got to say, mad props to the team. This is significantly better than it was in AB Plus, in my opinion. The balance is way better. The room designs are significantly better. I think the balance between vanilla game content and um, Fiendfolio content is much better. I think before it was a little bit too, more, too much weighted on Fiendfolio. Of course, there's all the new stuff as well, um, like items and like consumables and all that sort of great stuff that they've added. Just really is one of the best mods out there right now. And that's no shade to the other modders out there too. Because one thing you've got to remember. Um, my friend recently did this. Um, he kind of put himself down on his own mod. Because Fien because Fienfolio came out. And he was like, oh shit. I need to um, step up my game. Fienfolio is crazy big. Um, and it's an amazing mod. And I was like, dude. Dude, dude, dude. You are one human being. Fienfolio was made by like tons of people. <laughs> don't Don't compare yourself in that way. Uh, I don't know if we want to chisel anything to ourselves while we're down here. Um, I'm going to wait until we do our boss, but I, I, I would say it's probably a good idea for us to chisel um, chisel our all stats up to us. Or maybe the soul heart at the start of each floor. Either way. Actually, no. It's better to do the... I don't know. Apparently, once you chisel something to yourself, it gets a weakened effect. So we need to be aware of that. Oh, look at this. Here's a piss-filled bucket now. That's really cool. Yeah, um, I, I did not know this, uh, but yeah, there's a there's a weakened effect once you um, smelt something to yourself. So, it's for example, the one that gives us a soul heart at the start of each floor, likely when we smelt it, it'll only give us a half soul heart. So, we've got to keep an eye on that. And same with the all stats up, it's going to give us a lesser all stats up after the fact. So, we've got to keep, keep that in mind and make sure that we're smelting the right trinkets. That's something that I, did, I wasn't aware of until now. And something that I really need to be more aware of in the future. I'm taking damage here, aren't I? That was pretty bad. <laughs> I always find this boss particularly difficult. Basically, unless I can get a bomb on him like that, I always struggle. Um, so, we get caffeine pill here. I guess we'll just take caffeine pill. And then we get... Um, the brick. I think the brick we want to just go down and um, turn into health, to be honest. We could re-roll it into something else, but I'm, I'm pretty low on health right now. So I'm going to just take health for right now. Also, let's try and look for our secret rooms. Because I think secret rooms have a high chance of having stones in them. Um, we'll come back and get that real quick. Yeah, let's look for our secret room real quick. Um, we've got a few different places... I'm guessing it's going to be right here. Make sure we're lined up correctly. That would make the most sense. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so there's 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 one there. We also get ourselves an item. We can, we've got ourselves a shop there as well. Um, but it's unlikely we'll be able to afford anything from that. But I'm gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna try it anyways. Did it not even give me an item? Did the sh shop just rip me off? 
I want my money back. I want my key back. I didn't know I could do that. Periodically begin sucking in all enemies also works when dropped. Okay, so this is another one that I think will um will smelt down. Yeah, I, th I thought those those guys always spawned an item. I was hoping it'd spawn a secret room item that we could purchase. Um, so this one we will we will grind down again. Beautiful. Come back, grab out all stats up again. We'll be on our merry way, I think. Okay, I think we're looking good. Still got our glass D6 for later as well. Let's head on down to Golem Town. Love this character so much. He is the most fun. Okay, so the Lost Unfortunate. Let's see what we've got going on down here. We probably don't have a smelty dude down here this time around. We do have one of these, though, which is always nice. Rockworm. Um, let's let's reroll Rockworm a little bit, shall we? Teardrop is just a tears up. Um, tends to fire a chubba shot that inflicts baited and a boomerang's back. What the hell? Calzone geared. I guess I'll try that out. I would like to smelt the other one onto me, but obviously we don't get that opportunity every time. I'm going to try that out. Oh, there you go. Chubba shot. Okay, that makes more sense now. I didn't know what a chubba shot meant. I still don't really understand what these enemies do. I think they're just there to be visually distracting. There's a lot of these fellas, though. Quite a lot of them, indeed. Oh my god, there's loads of them. What the hell? They're not taking too long to kill, to be fair, but... There is a lot of them. Okay, we got them. I dare you mind followers are, are great, too, here. Love having them. Ooh, they just protect... protect Oh, they can, they can... Oh, that's a really nice effect there. Okay, I definitely want to keep this about. Having the Rotten Tomato effect on demand is going to be really nice. Just take some focus off of us and... Gives the ability to do some extra damage to some other enemies. And these seem to be firing reasonably regularly too. It doesn't seem like they're, they're a really rare shot to get. Careful on these guys. We have some more poops here. We have the uh, one-shot fires and poops when we're outside a combat thing on. Which is really nice for this. This guy got hit by that immediately. And then you killed him. Nice. Ooh, that was a cool attack that you've got there. I swear, like, 90% of these videos is just me being in awe at the uh, Fiend Folio mod. Ooh, Dirty Mind. Do you... Dirty Mind has special poops. Hell yes. I was wondering if Dirty Mind would have special poops. Um, for like Tainted Blue Baby and um... yeah, it does. It does. It's very awesome. And they drop in like little droplet poops. You know what? We'll pop this. We get most of our charge back. And hello, it's 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 the daddy. It's the big boy. Bad hit there by me. Ooh, that's a really bad hit there by me. God damn, that was stupid. Let's try and not be so stupid. I will check this for a soul heart. We didn't get one, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure where secret room would be this time around, I'll be honest. When I've got no mapping, it's a little difficult to tell. We've not found item room yet either. But yeah, getting getting extra poops from those guys is so cool. Okay, these eyes are the ones that reflect shots back towards us, don't they? I like the way it boomerangs back as well, because we can get, get the enemies on the second try sort of thing. These big enemies are good for baiting, so let's try and bait them. I think it does a bit of damage as well as it hits them. It seems to kill that dude then. Rather nice. I just love that there's so many different rocks we can get. That's a troll bomb. Um, right. Is that- that's a, that's a little, like, Rainmaker dude. That's really cool. A Diddy Rainmaker. Um, where is our item room? We're still looking for that, aren't we? Probably go back this way. I'm always so bad at remembering where I have and haven't been. Okay, I don't know where this ghosty boy's gone. But he's going to appear back there, okay. And then... 10% chance to shoot charm shot. Okay, nice. We can pick the item we want. 
Crack the Sky is good, but unfortunately not what we're looking for, so we'll Glass D6 it. And I will take that in a heartbeat. It's a terrible item that I feel like I have an obligation to take for some reason. Um, yeah, let's grind that down. Gave us a soul heart. Good, good. Right. Away we go. We should actually, we should just go back in and go to the starting room. It's going to be easier on us. There you go. Just because I don't really know where I'm going, so my familiarity with everywhere is a bit lost now. Look at them all. Drip dropping all over the place. Right, I think we're heading in the right direction now. There we go, we are. Get that in. Oh, nice, we got a new boss. We've got plenty of followers coming with us. I love the little skirt skirt sounds they added to a bunch of the Fiendfolio bosses. They're just so great. I don't know, they just add a lot of theming to the uh, to the bosses on these floors. Oh, I forgot about the little ghosties. I forgot about the little ghosties. I was just paying attention to him. But yeah, a lot of people really, really dislike um, dislike this item, so I take it. <laughs> I think it's an item that has potential. It's not good right now, but it could be. Oh, look at that. Look at their eyes. <laughs> They're like, no, we don't want to die with you. Leave us the hell alone. And then we got two bucket boys. We got lobgeared. Oh, wait, do we fire? We fire him in, in the direction of the chubbers. We, oh, we do. We fire them in the direction of our... I thought we'd just fire them straight out of our face. We don't. That's really cool. Okay. Plus six range, plus three extra range. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, wait, is this a geode? That is a geode. <laughs> that seems disastrously awful. Which you know what that means. I absolutely have to do it. A lot of stats to lose, but for the memes, I feel like I have to. I feel like I have an obligation, because I got the Geode too. I really like the Geode bonus thing as well, that's a nice addition. But having these lobbed shots seems disastrous. Which means that it has to be done. Right, chisel and birth to me. Full commit. I commit to this bit. We've also landed on 666 range, which is pretty hilarious. This guy jumps around. That's not going to be good for us. Oh, Lord. He stays open quite long. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be tragic. Okay. I'm, I'm My Chubber shots are going to be a heavy reliance today. We do get Spectral with this, which is rather nice. We definitely need more damage. I know I just gave away quite a lot of stats, but part of the meme. I feel like if you get a wacky Geode synergy, you got to take it. Gotta take it, regardless of how much health it costs. One second. My eye just started twitching then. I think we can do this room without using the Fiend Folio. God damn, my eye's twitching like crazy. I think I got some in it. It's not good. I'm just gonna pretend it's not happening right now. It'll be fine. Oh my god, it's so hard to hit things now. I can legitimately shoot over things' heads sometimes. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Right, another fairly easy room for us here. Just, just keep out of their range. These guys move, like, really close to me, though, which makes things significantly more difficult. We got him. We got him. Please help me. Um, Clutch's Curse. Familiar that possesses enemies occasionally when possessed. The player can fire um, a homing Ipecac um, tier 
Rocks occasionally glow purple and shoot fire on destruction. And we also got... Look affected chance to shoot crit tears. That sounds really useful. That is going to get me killed. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, basically, whenever this guy is in our body, we, um... Oh, God, that guy fires a lot of shots. Whenever this guy, like, possesses us, we fire an Ipecac shot. But it's homing. That's that's one notable thing. It is homing. So we don't have to worry too much. This He couldn't have been our saviour. Will he be our hero, baby? I want to just... Check what's going on with these rocks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that guy can crit too. My fella can crit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so tragic. I love it. Oh, that is that is that is pretty brilliant for an item. I like that. I love these dudes with the little hats. Oh, they fire off bombs too. Can you open a secret room for me? Ah, you, you killed yourself for me though, which is pretty good. Um, let's see if we can find a secret room real quick here. Um, not 100% sure. I'm going to say that it's the room that leads into the curse room. So down from here. No, it's not. I'll do some extra rooms to suss it out. I'll do some extra rooms to suss it out. I love the little cackle that he does. Really, really interesting item. Visually and just the idea of it too. I really like items that have these like, that kind of go the extra mile to add to the visuals and stuff. Really good. Okay, these guys are the little snot throwers. Honestly, I was really relying on my, my buddy um, to, to handle this. I, I'm in a very tough spot right now. I can't really hurt you guys yet. My homing shot was all that, that saved me there. Okay. Um, grants a rock familiar that fires rock tears has a chance to concuss. I mean, we can at least fire straight now, which is rather nice. Okay, I, think, I feel like I've ballsed up already here. Okay, I need to wait for the spikes again. I need to wait for the spice again. I've missed the timing. Damn it. Completely missed time. That's a hard room. Oh, hello. Oh, I hurt myself already. Already I've hurt myself. Okay, this is a really tricky room that I could very possibly die in. It's the it's the the, the cross shooting dudes that are ruining it. I did just crit you, which I welcome. Also, staying on an angle from you definitely helps. Holy. That was that was a bit tricky. Um, <laughs> oh my god. We lost quite a lot of health there. I might have to smelt down some of these trinkets. We need homing is what we need. I can't bloody hit any of these enemies. <laughs> it's so difficult. Oh, we got these bees. Yeah, I hate these bees. Oh, wait. There's bee poops and... What? This is awesome. There's little bee... Oh, that is... That is going the extra mile. I'll tell you. That is going the extra mile. God damn. Dirty Mind just became a top tier pickup. I mean, it already was pretty top tier, but it's even topper tier now. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm not really sure where Secret Room is now. I really wanted to find it because I feel like we could definitely use the Soul Hearts, but I'm not going to fret about it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Why did I fire there? There was no need. Yeah. Could we find a second secret room here? Is that plausible for us? Oh my god. It's so insanely hard to hit things. Ooh. 
This is a... I've never seen a golden rock. Geode, um, plus eight range, plus five extra range of holding another geode. Gives a common or rare geode trinket when crushed. That was not eight range. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, let's let's kill this guy first. This guy's going to be an absolute pain. Although, although, a very reliable source of of dirty mine dips, which is nice. Yeah, honestly, just shitting out dirty mine dips for me all over the place. Do those herming shots every now and again. I want to use bombs on him, but I want to save him for secret rooms, really. This is so good. Just killing him with his own poops. It's fantastic. You've done it to yourself, sir. You fool. Done it to yourself. Tears, um, have a chat. Oh, okay. That is... That is so necessary. So I think we... I think we want to hold... We want to hold that. And I think we want to hold that, and then we want to go and we want to go and trash both of those. Oh, we got a we got a limbo deal here. Um, got the leaky battery or the toothless key. So leaky battery, spa uh, spacebar items activate twice on each use. Uh, gives one bar of charge after using a spacebar item if the max charge is over one, or activates it a third time otherwise. When use when using your space for item, there's a chance to get a random negative effect. Or we get two limbo chests will spawn at the start of each four limbo chests have a chance to drop uh, golden keys or bombs. All limbo chests, all chests have a fifty percent chance to spawn limbo chests. I'll take that. Why not? Oh, we get both. Okay, we'll take both. Interesting. Okay, go down here. Trash both of these for health. That's the wrong one. This guy. Oh, that gave us two more as well. Okay, nice. Chance for spectral and piercing. Um, we don't really need that. That can go in here as well. And spawn um, spawn a penny when damaged while holding another geode. Okay, no. That's... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just quickly go up here. We just got a lot of health that I wasn't expecting to get. So let's at least grab this. And chisel this. Because then we've got the herming be embedded. And then let's re-roll this a little bit. See if we get anything good. Oh, that's really cool. Chance to fire a spiral shot that inflicts drowsy. Oh, yes. That sounds awesome. And both of these are geodes too. Nice. Okay. Now we go down. Is that a tinted rock? It is. Okay. Give me some more chiselings. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the whole hog. Give me all of them attached to me. Let's go. Okay, that was an awesome flaw. That was a really awesome flaw. And we got some limbo deals as well. The limbo deals is a new thing that I've got. Basically, it's a deal that you can get when you don't get other stuff, but. I'm still deciding whether I want to keep it or not. Because basically, they're items that have a positive and a negative. But it seems that usually the positives are pretty darn good. Um, like that. Um, so, I'm like, I'm a, I'm still a little on, like, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that mod. It seems a little overpowered. Because basically, you get one of those deals every time you don't get a deal with the devil or angel. Which, I don't know, I feel like this seems really powerful. Just because the items, they don't cost anything. Uh, but they do have an associated cost, and it's not the fact that they normally have a negative with them. But I, I, some, I feel for some of them that isn't enough, you know. Um, gives flight for one room applies the effect based on value on screen. Uh, stat up plus two wisps. Okay. Uh, what the hell? All sorts of stuff going on there. It gave us mapping for this one. We got a webbed heart there as well. Oh god. Those enemies are a little tricky. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm liking these spiral shots.
Gives a random planetarium item each floor. I would like to grab that, but I'm a little scared too with the health I'm currently at. Let's see if we can get a soul heart first. Or just any more health, really. We've also got a lot of bombs too, which is useful. That's one of the negative effects that we got there. One of the random negative effects. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, we're miles away. That would have been so good, but we have red health, so it's actually useless. If we only had soul heart health, that would actually be super useful. Yeah, look at these spiral shots. We have the wackiest shots going on. It's great. I like the um, the, the spiraling worm. That's also really cool. Okay, just, just crack all of that. Okay, we got a sticky nickel, a few disappearing pennies. Some spurders here. Um, chance to reroll pickups into sacks. That's decent enough. Okay. But yeah, we just have a, a lot of extra ways to gain items with the limbo deals. Considering we already have a lot of extra ways to get items, I don't know if it's something I want to keep. But it looked like an interesting item, uh, an interesting, yeah, uh, mod at least. So I didn't want to not try it. But I'm not sure if it's something I'll keep. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I really like items that are risk-reward, which is one of the main reasons I added it. By the way, this room is proving to be very difficult. How did that not hit? Dude, Mask, can you bugger off? I can't hit this dude. Dude, that was so close. I didn't realize the spikes hadn't deactivated. Okay, killed myself with the explosion. That is a tragic end to a pretty funky run. Um... <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to leave it there because this has been a reasonably long run anyways. Pretty tragic end to it. I, I basically played myself there. I instantly took damage to spikes because I didn't realise they hadn't deactivated. Um, and then immediately walked into a room and started firing with a rock in my face and killed myself. So I guess I owe this death to me. But... Either way, that was a lot of fun. We saw some really, really cool and unique extra geodes there. And yeah, let me know what you think about the Limbo deals. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.